Chinese authorities in Hunan are currently investigating a baby product shop following reports of five children being diagnosed with rickets after consuming fake milk powder sold by the store. The powder that staff from the store told parents was milk replacement for children allergic to dairy was actually protein supplement powder. This is what we know. Several parents of children allergic to regular milk formula in Yongshin County, Hunan Province went to a baby product shop looking for an amino acid-based milk alternative for their babies only to be sold a protein mix, the South China Morning Post reports, citing local media. One of the parents, surnamed Zhu, said that staff at the shop told her the product called Bayan Min was an alternative to baby formula, despite its packaging labeling it as a protein drink. Zhu's daughter drank the powdered protein drink for more than two years. According to a report by the paper.cn, five toddlers were reported to have lost weight and developed eczema and a swollen head after drinking the protein beverage. The paper.cn also reported that some children would slap their heads and all of them were diagnosed with rickets, a condition caused by vitamin D, calcium or phosphate deficiency. Not only were the parents told that this powder was an alternative for children allergic to dairy, but they were also told it was the best option for their children. In an interview with Shigua Video, a woman identified as Ms. Chen says that staff told her it was the best sold product in their store and that all babies allergic to regular formula drank the protein powder. When Chen pointed out that the product was labeled as a protein supplement, the clerk told her it was an abbreviation for milk. This is not the first time parents in China have been sold fake products. Remember the 2008 Chinese milk scandal? At the time, 22 dairy producers in China were found to have produced milk laced with melamine, a chemical compound illegally used to artificially increase the protein content of food products. According to The Guardian, roughly 300,000 babies became sick that year after consuming contaminated milk powder. Speaking of fake things, here's a fake lake, complete with fake vegetation. When you got the big bucks in China, you gotta have the big baller view to go with it. According to the SEMP, lucky suckers who purchased units in a brand new residential high-rise that touted park views were treated to that and so much more. The development located in the Hunan provincial city of Changsha promised high vegetation cover and a park lifestyle. The real estate developer then translated that into the magnificent beauty of a fake blue lake created with gorgeous man-made plastic. They then topped that off with a luxuriously elaborate fake bridge that spanned the entire pretend lake. And who needs actual grass covering larger open areas when you have grass block paving that is usually seen in driveways or parking lots instead? That counts as vegetation. If you've got your bathing suit ready so you can test out the crystal clear waters, you're unfortunately out of luck. After the story went viral and complaints started rolling in, the developers ended up tearing up the fake plastic pool, leaving the crappy concrete foundations underneath. Guess we'll just have to wait and see what kind of magic the developers will put in its place. And for the next exhibition of fakeness, we're going to throw it back to 2017 Tomo News. First, there's the fake penguins in China, and now they've decided to take fakeness to the next level by presenting you with a fake butterfly exhibition. The exhibition, called Dinosaur and Butterfly, was held last weekend at a park in Mashan County in Guangxi's Zhuang Autonomous Region. According to advertisements that appear on Chinese messaging app WeChat, tens of thousands of butterflies from far and wide at the exhibition will land on visitors' shoulders and fingers. But when Mr. Huang and his daughter traveled 62 miles to see the exhibition, all they saw were plastic butterflies placed haphazardly on the ground. Visitors left enraged, saying they felt they were cheated by the Yuling Beishan Exhibition Service Company, which organized the event. A staffer defended the company, saying the ad was not fake, and why couldn't a plastic butterfly land on someone's finger? What are they smoking? The park, meanwhile, has responded, saying the exhibitors have already cleared everything away, and if something like this happens again, they won't rent the area out to them. The organizers, meanwhile, are resolute in their stance that the exhibition was really up to everyone's imagination. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.